And here on the Sun Coast, the tone of downtown Sarasota after hours was up for discussion tonight at City Hall. A common discussion there. A proposed upscale restaurant and cocktail bar on Main Street came up for a vote, a vote, and it was not a fast decision, actually. ABC 7's Ray Collins is just back from City Hall and joins us with more on this story. Ray. Haley, some say the owner was being blamed for the sins of others. This is the spot on Main Street where the owner of the successful Cask and Ale restaurant in St. Petersburg wants to expand. And here comes the owner, Jeff Catherall, who asked the city for permission to expand into Sarasota. But the conversation quickly turned into a discussion about rowdy behavior after hours downtown. Commissioner Susan Chapman recalled an instance where she did some 2 a.m. fact finding. A lot of, uh, con you know, overconsumption um, indicators, staggering in the street, vomiting. Um, and the police enforcement isn't very effective. The owners of a similar downtown upscale restaurant were there. Kirk Volker and his wife Chris own the State Street Eatery, and they know what Chapman's talking about. It's the restaurants that overexpand their intended license, a restaurant that essentially turns into a nightclub, and that is the problem. During the discussion, Commissioner said cask and ale shouldn't be penalized for the transgressions of other places. To deny a, an application because there hasn't been enforcement in the past, I think it is wrong. But to assign uh, impugning of behavior, I, I find that troublesome. Atwell also said, and the mayor and vice mayor agreed, Sarasota needs to attract more younger people. We are looking to retain our young people to this area. We should be making efforts uh, to do so. I, if, if we say that we want younger people here, this is an opportunity. Have a non-voted commission is that your vote? In the end, four voted for the new project, and Chapman was the lone vote against it. So how does Volker feel about having a similar restaurant and cocktail bar downtown? You know, they're direct competition, but we welcome them. We th think that the uh, rising tide lifts all boats. And in response to Chapman's comment that the police aren't very effective downtown late at night, the city manager said he would talk to the police chief, Haley. So, Ray, how soon until the cask and ale opens? Pretty fast. Actually, it's said to be open in a month or two down on Main Street. Very quick. All right. Thank you, Ray.